Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today, I'm showing you guys a new RIT-18 that I stole from a fellow creator. Acock, his video was recommended to me recently. I watched the video, saw the team and was like, huh, I can build something like this and it looks kind of fun. So we have Jemiah Tableau Asher segment as the core of the team. And the moment I ruined up this team, I went with a 10 win streak in a row. And that was very, very satisfying to play. So we started from Exodus and we just straight up win every single match. And I kind of farmed this Vietnamese guy a little bit too hard, but hey, thank you for the points, mate. All right, guys, let's see if we can continue my win streak today. And we're in the Guardian department. That guy is very likely in the top 300 or 100 as well. I'm not sure if we can cleave this guy or not, but if we can, that's gonna be absolutely amazing. So the team will feature a despair segment. I don't know why it's a despair, but after trying it out, this extra stun that you get because the team doesn't have a whole lot of stun and the skill reset is very important. So we're gonna go for Asher, Jemire for the speed lead and the first turn booster. We have Asher here on additional damage and a crit rate build to do the main damage for the team. So the two main damage dealer will potentially be Jemire and Asher. And extra damage is absolutely incredible. Oh, he's going a bit slower. We're going to go for Tableau. And because he's going light and fire, fire is going to be the element of choice. Or oh, water can be pretty good as well. But can I go water or should I go fire? Or we can go LD. We, can, we should... Um, let's go water here. Let's go water, okay? So it's going to pick another fire, which will force me to ban the fire. But that, Do I have to ban that? Hmm... Okay, I don't really have attack buff and my segment attack is not exactly amazing. So we potentially have to ban this guy. Let's just ban this guy. It's gonna ban Teo. So my Jemiah is on speed crit rate and HP. He will still do very good damage with speed buff. And we have Tableau on the normal violent build. Max accuracy because you need the debuff as well. Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna take first turn. Easy. And then we're gonna go for the... Hmm. I really want to reset the this guy. We missed. But then he didn't get to move, so that's not too bad because we can move again. Now we're going to do some light damage on the Veronica. We're definitely going to move again here. No extra proc happened in the first turn for us. But now we can layer the... We can start doing some damage here. The Judo can be quite a problem. We're going to go for the defense break. Okay, we've got a glancing over there as well. Very important. I'm going to reset the team. And then, oh, we got the Violent proc. Very important. That is very important right there. Now we're going to go for the big damage. Okay. And then we're going to take another turn right here. <laughs> With if, if you have the combo, you can go three turns in a row and that is incredible. So now I know my segment's going to kill the Veronica. I'm going to go for the damage on the Juno. Very good damage. Now we're going to go for some nice AoE damage again. And we're going to finish off the Juno and big damage on the Volantis. As you can see right there, his team didn't get a chance to move whatsoever. And we got a small little Violent proc here from the boy. Big stun, very nice stun as well. So he can start spreading a debuff, but because the Volantis is now stunned up and the debuff doesn't last too long, I think we're going to be okay. Let's see. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Because the stun is only one turn, though. it's not that bad. Okay, his damage gonna come mainly from the dot damage on the Volantis. If we can somehow control him or reset him, that's gonna... Oh my, he's gonna take a turn here. Ow, ouch. Am I losing to two unit? I don't think so. Let me put some debuff on you. Let me spit on you. Can I get a violent somewhere? I need a violent proc somewhere because he's gonna spread the debuff again. Oh my. Oh my. I need to reset. I need to do something to that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get a reset here. Come on. We missed, but it's okay. We got the despair stun. Very important. Okay, now Volantis alone would not be a problem anymore. We're gonna. Wow! Starting off with a win against a G2. It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> that is a lot of. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's go for the reset over here. Good. And don't AOE. Tablet will get a turn and not get one shot by the. By, by the ragdoll, okay? He got re- Oh, but the ragdoll was still one shot my tail. God, ragdoll, Gyo is just like... <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't know what to do. Okay, we're gonna get some debuff going on. Some glancing is gonna be... <laughs> I need 
done every turn. It's done e somebody, some, someone every turn. That is just crazy. Okay, let's do some damage. We missed the first hit defense break. We only got the sick. He stunned me again. Oh my god, the tablet is violent. <laughs> oh, it's over. I can't do anything. I really can't do anything. And we crit with 20% crit rate. Um, <laughs> Dude, he stunned me. Can I stun though? All right, that's a good stun. We didn't stun the... One resistance. One resistance, finally. Okay? If we can kill all of them in the same... Room, in the same... <laughs> oh, I even took off the wheel rune to make her faster. <laughs> if this unit violent proc, oh, it's gonna be over. She's definitely gonna kill my Shiho right here easily. Then there's, there's no avoiding that. And then this guy is gonna take. Oh, she violent proc. <laughs> that is just the most busted unit ever. Yeah? She killed everything, no exception. So that is probably one of the worst drafts he could do. But with good RNG, he could still absolutely murder my team. Murder my team. Alrighty then. Wow, first time pro. <laughs> you know what? What if I say earlier that was bullshit, okay? He could win easily if that Kinky just proc every single turn. And that could very well happen. Can I try to crit him? Double non crit and he proc again. He's gonna stun my segment. He almost killed a segment. Can I kill the Antares? He proc again. You know what? Oh, I want to hit somebody right now so bad, bro. I'm, I need to reset the carnal because my raw damage is... Freak. Glancing? Glancing? Glancing, please help me. He got both the debuff on my Asha. Stop! Can I stun? Please! <laughs> oh. Speed lead first pick. That's kind of scary. Don't take... Oh, wait. He can't take Asher. Asher is mine now. He can still pick Ethna and Zabala. That can be a little bit scary. Maybe I should put my segment back on Will. That's going to make her a little bit slower. But then if I find Zabala, I will feel not as bad because my full team is on Will Rune. So if I were to find Zabala, it's going to be okay. Ethna... Not so bad as well. Here comes the Leo, but that's a little bit too late. He's not having any Swift unit on the table just yet. So the turn one is likely going to be mine. I just have to pick the right damage dealer for the job. We can go for Nara Shadow. Might be a good idea. Oh, Abelio is annoying for sure, for sure. So we're going to go for... Hmm, what do I want to go for? Let's go with Narsha. Narsha can kill very, very quickly. And we do have heal block on the table as well. And because he's having a very good mix of element, picking anything elemental is going to be disadvantages. We're going to go with our LD damage dealer. I wonder what's going to be like a more free to play friendly option for the last lot here. Something LD that does damage or something that does damage and they ignore the elemental lore. Maybe Mao's going to be the one, but Mao's is not as exciting to play because he doesn't use the defense break as much. But Mao's definitely going to be incredible because we have two speed buffer here. So it's going to do easily 10,000 damage per hit. And in one violent prong, that is more than my Narsha could do. Here we go, guys. No more Jamire, which mean... How do I kill anything? We're going to buff speed. We're going to go for the strippy strip on the... What do I do? Do I kill the monkey? We're going to set up the monkey first because we're going to go another turn anyway. I'm going to reset this guy. Hopefully, we get the reset. We don't get the reset, but we do get a stun. So now we're going to do this. We're going to lightly tap on the monkey. Because if I skill 3, the monkey might get protected by the Abelio. I have 85 crit rate, which is very scary. But okay, we double crit. Thank you. <laughs> He's going to heal right there, but not too scary. We're going to go for the... I should have reset somebody. Oh my, I didn't I didn't think we could disperse on that many. Now we're going to go straight for this guy. That's very good damage. Crit damage, Narsha and Swift is pretty amazing now we're gonna reset he does have to spin so we're gonna reset him right now so he can't spin he can attack break me but that's not gonna hurt me too much let's go for a quick stun everybody sit down relax he healed earlier so he has oh my 
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is my Asha moving? He's not. Glancing though, but I didn't reset him. No attack by pushback. Thank you. He'll block him. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that resistance over there. But eat this. Resist my damage, son. Resist this. Okay, you got some heal block as well. Yeah, heal that, Abelio. <laughs> heal that. Say hello to my damage. Wow, 85 crit. I can't make her 100 crit. I, I, I just can't. My rune doesn't allow for 100 crit. Back to Guardian, baby. Okay, we have speed lead and two incredible base speed units. So we are in a lot of trouble. And this is where I need my, my segment to be on wheel runes. Come on, more speed lead and more strip. So... If I let the Zibala stay, he's going to boost Tiana and Tiana's going to let into the Neftis. If I let the Yonhong stay, it's going to boost the Tiana as well. So the only sane conclusion is to ban the Neftis and pick something that can counter this. And that something will be a healer potentially. So we can potentially go for a... What do I want to go for? Let's go for a Belio as a healer because... He doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Maybe our Belio can cut in between and we're not going to be in a as bad position. He has to bend the Belio. I can't outspeed at 33% and on the same base speed. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. The booze is happening. Man, he even tuned the Zibala to move after this combo. That is well tuned. But then Jamai is a great counterpoint to Zibala because he's a win unit. And the chance to freeze my dragon is not as high. We missed the dragon. Very cool. Very cool. So we can reset the tableau and we can potentially go again. We can reset the skill. And with speed buff, we should go again. Oh, we've got some slow debuff going on here as well. So what do I want to do here? Do I want to... Will I move? God, do I want to risk it? Okay, we're going to go for this. I could have skilled two, but I'm not sure if I'm moving or not. So we're going to heal a little bit. We're going to go for the AoE defense break. Got two, two despair stun. That's pretty good. And now we go straight for the main damage deal on the enemy team, which is going to be the Tiana. So if I kill that, it's going to come back with attack buff. That is not very cool. So we're going to go for the healer position first. He's going to AoE, but that's not going to hurt me too much. We're going to reset the Yonhong so that she doesn't have heal because I'm not sure if I can kill it as soon as possible. We're going to kill the Tiana first and then we're going to hopefully get a stun right here. Maybe a slow. We've got nothing too crazy. We're going to go back to the Tiana. Does Zabala still have skill 2? So he can reset somebody back very, very soon. So we're going to take care of the Tiana. She is moving in front of Zabala, which is really, really good because now if he boosts, She's not going to take a turn very quickly because it's only 50%. Get some slow debuff maybe. Very nice. Can I kill you with additional damage? Very nice. I'm going to prep the defense break over here because I know the Esher. Oh, I could have I could have healed the Esher. But I can disappear stun here. Ah, oh. Great ban from Sean B. Great ban. That's a cleaver. Oh my god. And a Hey Gang. Good thing we don't really care about Hey Gang with this team. Oh, that's why I enjoy this team so much. We don't fight Hey Gang. And even if Hey Gang make it on the field, I don't have to care about Hey Gang that much. Okay. I just have to pick damage dealer that can eat all of them. And that is definitely going to get banned for sure. Do I ban the Hey Gang? I have to ban one of the damage dealer. I think if I miss reset on the Oberon, if I reset something, Oberon can reset that back. I just have to reset one target and the rest, I don't have to care. Okay. So if we ran the reset, on the bomber he's useless and then i will just have to find a way to land oh now that's the duckless i totally forgot about what do i do with the duckless but if i just land one good attack break with the segment we're gonna be okay so first we reset this are you kidding me <laughs> are you kidding me bro what do you miss two turn in a row all right i'm gonna go for the kill maybe 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 we get the kill we don't have to kill just yet. We're going to reset this. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We get another chance. Oh my God. All right. First, we're going to kill this. So he is not going to be a problem anymore. We're going to reset this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And now I focus on her. Hey, gang is going to do some stuff to my team, but 
because the Douglas is really slow, it's not gonna be that. Wow, that's a lot of stun. And we haven't stunned with a segment just yet. We haven't stunned with a segment just yet. But because there's no defense break and this guy can only do a little bit of damage once in a while, we can heal that back with the Asher. So it's not gonna be a problem. We're gonna keep resetting the, the Bastet so that she cannot buff or debuff my team, which is very important. But the hardest part will be the part where I land the attack brick on the on the Douglas. We can probably do that though. I've I've done that before. Okay, I've seen Asher destroy Douglas before, and that was my Douglas. <laughs> my Douglas with attack brick lost to an Asher with speed lead, and uh, somehow that happened. Yep, it just didn't glance me whatsoever. Okay, so what do I do here? We're gonna heal. We're gonna go for a lucky despair stun. I mean, a lucky stun, maybe. Okay, not happening. We're gonna spit on you. Not happening. We're gonna spit on you. Not happening. Definitely gonna die. We're gonna attack break. The only chance, the only chance. Oh, we crit though. Oh, we didn't, oh, we didn't go hands. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god, he realized. Oh, that is so smart. All right, go for some big damage, maybe. How did I not glance a single time? I can just do this and get additional damage out. <laughs> Carlos, can I go monkey here? I feel like going monkey here because I can stun and protect myself and I can just need to reset the... The, 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 the funny the funny cigar and I think my monkey's gonna be pretty good here we go here we go we're gonna go first with the speed boost we're gonna go for the reset it's gonna work right it's gonna work right thank you that's perfect slow them down a little bit slow them down a little bit could have slowed the Camilla unfortunately we're gonna stun this guy good stun good stun I like that team keep it up keep it up team we're gonna cleanse on the dragon and we've got defense break coming out soon as well. That's going to be a fat, fat slow. But then that's going to let the speed tuning to work with my Jemaya, I think. I'm going to go for this. Okay. Big stun. And we're going to reset. So we can heal again. We can heal again. We can heal. Oh, but no defense break on the unit I want to kill. So we're going to go and change the target to this guy. Very annoying. Can I... Oh, if I... But Camilla doesn't have skill too, so I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to get a AoE attack bar gain. Very nice. And I'm going to try to finish off this. And because we stun Carlos, he gained attack bar and does nothing. Ouch. All right. If he violent proc enough, he get a skill 3. Dude, do you have to violent proc every turn that you can move? We have speed buff, so we're going to lap the cigar. No problem. We're going to go for the kill on the Carlos easily. Nice damage. Nice damage. And spit on you. And spit on you and now i think we're good because monkey alone is already quite a big problem for camilla because of the invincibility oh my that is scary that is scary man when people ban tableau is so much less fun i feel like tableau is just insane oh my god double speed lead and that too if i pick tableau is that a great idea i think tableau is just a bad idea at this point but Masha is a great idea and i feel like <laughs> Man, I just can't resist. Okay, it is a Jemaya Tabo team. We gotta, we gotta stick with the theme, right, guys? Masha is a great unit in this comm as well, so we're probably gonna ban Masha here. And I pray that I can now speed. Two thirty speed. It's like he he only need to have like two two twenty something, and it's gonna outspeed me. That's not hard. Okay, we outspeed him. That's good. We go. We're gonna reset the cigar, maybe? Actually, I'm just gonna go in with a kill. Maybe I'm just gonna go straight for the kill. We're gonna go and get some nice little debuff right there. We're gonna slow him down a little bit. And then we're gonna one-shot the Juno, maybe? Don't miss crit, 96. The full attack bar, no full attack bar! Oh, but he can't get enough. Oh, but he got the stupid, oh, but he healed. Damn, that is tanky. <laughs> that is crazy tanky. Okay, he can't touch my Marsha that easily. So Masha. Oh, but he got defense buff. How am I going to kill a defense buff Juno? That is a pipe dream. There ain't no way. <laughs> oh my god. 
My Masha is trash. If only my Masha was like better, then maybe we had a chance. Maybe. All right, we're going to reset. Do I need to reset? I think I'm going to reset because I've got a skill too, right? So we can maybe defense break and kill somebody. He can't kill me just yet. He doesn't have like big damage right off the bat. So, oh my, that's a big ass stun. What do I do now? And he doesn't land that. Will he land it? Okay, he crit, but he didn't land it. Oh, but I can't kill anyone right now. But fuck it. I think the Juno is going to be the biggest prop. I missed the defense break. Come on, bro. All right, reset. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> it's hard, okay? This kind of team is really, really hard to kill. And, and that is just how it is. All right, we're going to go for some slow debuff on the enemy team. Mr. Juno, very, very cool. Does he have the skill three? He doesn't have it yet. And he slowed down. And we reset the arm dot, so no crazy buff coming. And Masha, Masha is still a threat for the enemy team. Some nice little debuff right there. But I can't kill Juno. Oh, that attack bar boost. Every turn, regardless of... <laughs> it's just so annoying. Okay, we can potentially kill two target right now. If the Masha eat the Vanessa... We don't have it yet. We don't have it. Oh, we have it. We're going to kill Vanessa right here. Don't miss crit. Nice. And then we're going to go straight for the kill on the cigar. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And then we, we slow this one down. Okay. We just need to set up one nice little defense break. And Masha can kill it. Oh, I, I don't have anything. I need to keep resetting this guy because if he buff, it is impossible to kill Juno. And now the goal is to actually kill Juno and not the Amda. Amda is irrelevant now. I just have to spit on Juno and crit. I have to get a violent. Okay, she's going to go down soon. Nemesis, not going to be enough. Juno's going to outspeed me. So we're going to ignore that. No stun. God damn it. If there was no arm dot, I could have killed a Juno easily with the Marsha. All right, if he double stun me right there, that could have been the worst thing to ever happen. Okay, I can't go for any skill with potential healing and speeding buff, speeding up the Juno. God, he now he has the anti-crit. How the hell do I kill an anti-crit Juno? Oh, if he, if he killed a dragon, I can't kill this arm dot with my Neftis alone. I mean, not Neftis. I wish I had a Neftis. This is going to do... <gasps> the stun! The slow. The big slow. The big slow as well. Okay, we got the attack break. And uh, we got the big reset, maybe. Stun again. Oh, yeah! Yes, baby! That's what I'm talking about! 